Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1034. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, in the last video, 1033, we saw how to use the old pivot table wizard to unwind a table of data. But in that video, we were using text items. So we want to take a look at that same trick, but for a table of numbers and fields. Now here we have boomerangs that we sold by sales channel. And what we would really like, because this table is fine, it's already summarized in a cross-tabulated way. These are the row headers, these are the column headers, but I'd really like a proper data set. So I'd like sunset in a field called boomerang, and then web website is sales channel, and then sunset Amazon, sunset stores in US, and sunset stores outside the US, and then those numbers properly in a units column. So we can use that great pivot old pivot table wizard trick here. All right, I'm going to use the keyboard to open up the old pivot table wizard. Now, you could add a button up here to the quap, but I'm going to use the keyboard, Alt-DP. And there we go. In step one, I'm going to select multiple consolidation ranges. Now, the new pivot table wizard doesn't have this anymore, so that's why we have to go back to this old uh, wizard. Now, that's step one, but because we've selected consolidation range, when we click next, there'll actually be four steps. Here's 2A. I want to click, I will create a page field. Page fields are like report filters in these days. Even though we're really not going to create one, we're going to select that and click next the range that'll be our table and how many page fields zero all right click next and then click finish we'll put it on a new sheet and there it is in the last video we unchecked row and column but I don't really have to do that the trick is to get back to a proper data set I'm gonna double click this grand total and lo and behold boom we have you're kidding me look at that it made a table for us. Now we have to relabel these. These are the boomerangs we sold. Boomerang. Here's the sales shape. And then these are units. And there we go. Boomerang. Now we have each one of the boomerangs. There's the sunshines and the sales channels and the individual units. Now, of course, there's all sorts of things we can do. We can sort. We can filter. We can make, make uh, pivot tables. But from this table with row headers and column headers, we went ahead and created a proper data set. All right, see you next video. Oh, wait a second. There's a great video. Deborah at Contextures made a video, and here's a link. Uh, it's a great one. It's, she shows how to do how to use the same trick when you have multiple criteria. So one column and a second column, and then this uh, criteria up here. So with three columns. So go check out that video. All right, we'll see you next video.